Hi everybody, my name is Sheridan. I work at the Long Beach Public Library and I'm here today to show you how to make a couple of cool mocktails that'll keep you cool this summer. If you haven't signed up for summer reading just yet, go to longbeach.beanstack.org and register for our reading challenges and then that way you can earn prizes and uh, other cool stuff for reading this summer. If you've already signed up, enter the code SUMMER into the activities tab of your reading challenge to be able to get points for watching this video today. Cool? All right. The first thing I'm going to show you how to make is a cucumber lime mint fojito. And so what I've got here is a cucumber lime made that I made earlier. It is two large cucumbers. And what you do with the cucumbers is you want to peel them. And then I always end up cutting them in half lengthwise, sort of like this. And with a spoon, I go through and I remove all the seeds because they kind of have a bitter flavor. Once you've done that with those two cucumbers, you put them in a blender along with the juice of four limes. Uh, two tablespoons of agave syrup if you're you know partial to it and a cup of water blend until smooth and you end up with the base that's gonna be the base for our cucumber limeade fojitos okay um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of mint leaves and I kind of just rip them off and throw them in the bottom of a cocktail shaker glass um, I forgot my wooden spoon, so I'm just going to use the sheath of this knife as a little bit of a, of a muddler kind of thing. And you just kind of want to, you know, bruise them up a little bit to release the flavor and the aroma. I'm going to add two ounces of the cucumber mixture. And you want to stir it around because it starts to separate. I'm gonna make that like four ounces. Just to so you can see really what, what, what happens. I'm gonna add two ounces of water. And an ounce of agave. Now if you don't like your drink super sweet, you can always cut this down to half an ounce. Or you can use honey or simple syrup, really, whatever you've got on hand. Then you want to add some ice to the cocktail shaker. And shake it up. So it combines. And then strain the whole thing into a cup that has some ice in it. So you've pretty much got the drink done at this point. You can always garnish with a, uh, you know, little wheel of cucumber if you feel like it. And maybe a little spring of mint tossed in there. And you've got your cucumber fojito. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you how to make is a blackberry mint kind of spritzer thing. Um, what we're going to do is take a few blackberries and throw them into the bottom of a cocktail shaker glass. You know, just a few. And throw in also some mint leaves. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to muddle them together to break down the blackberries and release the aroma of the mint. Uh, you really want to go to town on these blackberries because 
Um, once they get broken down, that's what releases um, their color and their flavor. And if you don't really do a good job with breaking them down, then the drink won't really have that kind of blackberry feel, you know? So as you can see, it's a little more work than originally. But it looks like they're, they're starting to break down. So for this, you could use a muddler or the back of a wooden spoon, really whatever you've got on hand that could work to, to smash up some fruit in the bottom of a glass. So it looks like that's pretty good. We're gonna add to this um, an ounce of agave, but you could use simple syrup or even honey uh, if you've got that on hand. We're also going to add a couple of ounces of lemon juice Hold the seeds. There's a chunk in there. So two ounces of lemon juice and two ounces of water. And then we're gonna add some ice to the shaker. to the glass that we're going to pour the drink into. And then uh, shake this bad boy. And then strain it into the, the glass that you And so you can see that the blackberries, once they get really broken up, release their color, release some juice, their flavor into the drink, and you end up with, you know, a little more filler. You also want to, for this one, um, throw on top some club soda or some mineral water. I've got this Topo Chico here. You can open it. Kind of just do like a quick little float on top to give it some fizz. Not too much, just a little bit. Stir that bad boy a little bit. And then garnish with some mint. Yeah. And uh, blackberry. And then you've got your blackberry mint spritzer. The cool thing about these two drinks is that since we put two ounces of water in both of them, what you could do is if you wanted to turn these mocktails into cocktails is replace that two ounces of water with your own special ingredient. Either one of these would go well with uh, vodka, um, and I would, or even like gin for this one. Also with this cucumber mint limeade, um, the cool thing is that you can do mint, for example, to sort of get that mint flavor, but you can also combine it with things such as basil, if you wanted to do like a cucumber basil gimlet, or even uh, jalapeno, if you wanted to do more of like a cucumber jalapeno margarita. Um, yeah, thank you for joining me today. Hopefully these drinks can keep you cool all summer long and uh, you participate in our summer reading challenges and earn lots of prizes. See you around, okay? Take care.